Hi, my name is Gigi with DPI Showcase Websites, and today we're going to go over the main functions and features of the IDX website. Now, this is the homepage. I like to start on the search page. I like to start here because it's probably going to be the most popular page on your website. Now, as you can see here, the search page is very user friendly. It's divided into two sections. You have the map on the left and the listings on the right. Your website is linked to the MLS and it updates every six hours. So what I'm gonna do here is a very simple search, okay? Here on the upper right-hand side, you have a toolbar where you can search by zip code, city, MLS number, building, subdivision, address. You have many options here. So just for the sake of the training, let's search Coral Gables by city, which is a city here in Miami. And property type, let's search for, let's do single family. You have condo here, if you wanted to search by condo. And in terms of bedrooms, bathrooms, and price range, let's enter the standard three bedrooms, Let's do two bathrooms and let's enter a price range of eight hundred to one point two five million. So let all this filter down. Right now there are thirteen properties found. Now you do have the advanced search drop down which will allow you to filter a little bit more. Here you have pool, you have waterfront. You can also um, filter by HOA fees, so on and so forth. Now let's say that you as the realtor has a client that's interested in exactly this search criteria. You can go into your own search page Fill in some settings for your client, just like I did right now. And then you can utilize this button here on the upper right-hand side. It's called Copy Search Settings. Now, clicking this button will give you a link. This link, you can right-click Copy, and you can paste it in an email or however it is that you're communicating with that client. Maybe you're talking to them on social media. And when you send them this link and they click on it on their end, it's going to take them right to this exact page on your website with the same exact search criteria that you had set for them. So it's a very quick and easy way to send a client a list of all the active listings, which will bring them back to view those listings on your website. Okay. Now let's go into a listing page. Let's go into this one right here. So this is an example of a listing page. Everything you see here is imported from the MLS. What is not imported is the listing agent's information. Now, if a buyer or a seller or a visitor were on this listing and they wanted more information, they're probably going to click the contact agent button. They may click request a showing. They may fill out this form. Either way, all the actions are the same. So let's say they click contact agent and they fill out their information here. Once they hit send request, you as the realtor, the owner of the website, will get a text and an email with the lead, with the information, okay? Not the listing agent. So anything filled out on your website goes straight to you. Now, let's say you wanted to share a property, this one, for example. You can come up here to the URL at the top. You can right-click copy, and you can paste this link however you want to share it with your client. You can post it on your social media. You can send it to your client in an email. If you're WhatsApping or text messaging, you can send them the link. And when they click on that link, it's going to take them straight to this listing on your site. Now, the next page I wanted to show you is the blog. 
So we blog for you every day. What that means is that we are writing up a real estate related article that's three to five paragraphs long, and we're posting it on your blog page daily, Monday through Friday. So within seven days, you're getting five real estate related blog posts. Now these blog posts are repurposed. So not only are we posting to your blog page, but this also gets repurposed in our auto postings feature, which will be in a separate video, check setting up auto postings. And so essentially we're posting this blog on your Facebook business feeds and your LinkedIn once we have your auto postings turned on. So just make sure you have that because this is a great way for your website to provide content to your Facebook business page and LinkedIn accounts. Now, the next page I wanted to show you is a, the resources tab. So the resources is more of a set of real estate tools. The most popular ones being school information, mortgage calculator, the dream home finder, the dream home finder. This is a form for buyers and the free home evaluation. This is a form for sellers. So like I mentioned previously, any time this information gets entered and submitted, you will get a text and an email with the lead as well as what they filled out in this form. Now, the next page is the development. So we have a very large database of all the projects, old, new, and upcoming in the city that you're in. So for example, this is a Miami-based website. We have the projects divided into new and existing. So if we were to go into new, we would see all the projects based on city, okay? So let's go into Glass House here in Coconut Grove. So this is an example of a project page. We have the photos, we have fact sheet brochure, floor plans for the client to download. We have property details. And now this is a new construction, it's not built yet. But as soon as it has listings in the MLS, those listings will pop up here under the for sale for rent or recently sold tabs. And that is pretty much it for the front end of the website. Now, any changes you have to your website, go through your designer. They are the ones that have all your files on hand. They've designed the site. Just send them a quick text message and an email and they'll handle any changes you have for your website. That's part of your service with us is that you have unlimited support. So please contact them with anything that you need. Thank you and have a great day.